And a more transmissible COVID variant is spreading quickly, leading to an uptick in positive cases across the country. News 8's Mike Mascadrelli talked to health experts about what you need to know to keep your family healthy. The new Omicron subvariant XBB15 is being called a serious threat by health experts because of its already high rate of transmission. Most of the cases across the country, according to the CDC, is being caused by this variant. Pandora's box has been opened, and I don't think we're going to be able to uh, pack that all back in. After being first detected in Connecticut and New York in late October, HBB15 is now the dominant COVID strain in the U.S. It makes up 75% of new cases in the Northeast, according to the CDC. Although not considered a super variant, it does come with immune evasion. This variant actually has the ability to bind uh, to your uh, cells, and so transmission is actually a lot more efficient. Chief epidemiologist at Hartford Healthcare, Dr. Ulysses Wu, says the holiday festivities and travel have fueled a rise in cases and hospitalizations, and many are getting sick more than once. People who have had COVID before, uh, it, it may not recognize this new variant, your, your immune system, and you may get infected again. The goal really is to limit the transmission, which will limit the rate and the rise and increase of these mutations. Dr. Wu expects cases to peak with the new variant in the coming weeks. To reduce transmission, Hartford HealthCare said people should stay away from others if they're sick, mask up at indoor social settings, and get vaccinated and boosted. We don't want people to be laid up in the hospital when they could be productive members of society. We don't want people dying. I mean, that's really what it comes down to if we reduce it down to a common cold. While 68% of Americans received both doses of the COVID vaccine, only about a third have got a booster dose. Reporting in Hartford, Mike Mascadrelli.